Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and today we are going to talk about the top 15 best in national costume and best national costume for Miss Supernational 2019. So the result has been revealed right after the show where Mexico won the best in national costume award. So today of course there may be a winner from their side but I will also reveal my own personal top 15 and let's see if Mexico will do well in my own personal ranking. Let's begin. My number 15 is India. Sheifali Saud. Sheifali's costume looked great, but it would have been better if it's more polished and have been done neatly. I still think her costume is worthy of top 15, but I do not like that brown thing because it appears to me like a packing tape that connects the animal figure to its stand plus the very obvious sets of messy strings. I don't like that. For photoshoot and non-motion, I think this costume is great and is ready. But with execution and motion involved, I still think there's still work to be done. My number 14 is Malta. Rebecca Pace. I have a special place for this costume in my list because I like it very much. I think it is a hummingbird. Just correct me if I am wrong. But I love how the headpiece was made. It was simple yet very effective. I also love how the wings were made. It seems like it is drawn into the fabric she's wearing, but I love how detailed it is to the point that it can appear realistic as a wing. My number 13, Myanmar. Ain't nya chal? Myanmar showcased a hunting outfit which looked great. It was even more amazing because of her execution of the outfit. I also love the very detailed drawing on her face. My number 12 is Puerto Rico, Shaleka Velez. My first impression is she looks like the Pocahontas version of a different tribe. Love the hairstyle, loved the overall selection of outfit and making everything gold made her look stunning. Her delivery was also great because she was confident, especially when it comes to her body movements. My number 11 is Sierra Leone, Esther Kamara. Another costume that I think will be ignored big time, I think this is the best one from the African region. Plus, when she came out, the music that played is so perfect for her performance, if you want to call it, and for her outfit and execution. So I am not sure if they are playing a role in choosing the music, but that went very very well i love how it was made from local materials and also they have stayed true to their tradition and culture plus i am in love with the dance that she did my number 10 is dominican republic yaliza burgos i just love the combination of gold and blue and the effect of blue color blue feather which appears as an outline for the golden attire made it even more beautiful I wouldn't say that it is a unique outfit because it seems like we have had similar outfits in the past which kinds of resemble the silhouette of this costume but kudos still to Elisa for wearing it beautifully and of course kudos as well to the one who made the costume because it was made beautifully my number nine japan natsumi takenaka i am so happy that japan has sticked to its culture but gave an artistic and elevated the overall appeal of a regular kimono i love the outfit and the pattern in it the headpiece looked great as well with different combinations of item which can be connected to the japanese culture and it even includes a small flag of japan which is very cute and very very good representation of their country my number eight is colombia jaisel twos i think Jaisel looked stunning in her national costume. I love the idea of a single wing. And I love the contrast between the dark wing and the colorful outfit that is intricately designed by those beautiful gems. I also love the headpiece. And if I could make some changes, I would rather have her hair be one with that headpiece going up rather than separating the hair and make it look like a ponytail. I mean... 
it doesn't work for me, but everything else is good and it was a great costume. My number seven is Venezuela, Gabriela de la Cruz. Gabriela's costume is beautiful and I love how it appears to be an explosion of many things that's happening with her outfit. I love the hat which covered, or shall I say, overshadowed the upper part of her face. She has a very busy top with so many details. The gun covered with gems is cute and their Venezuelan flag attached to one side of her dress. I mean, I like how different things are, but I also love how it all went well together, even if, the, if, even if there's a lot of things that's going on in the costume. My number six is Panama, Cristel Barreto. I like the festive costume, but honestly, we have seen many versions of this costume in many pageants. And if there are many better costumes in this competition, I wouldn't put it in my list. But well, for this group, it's one of the good ones. I like how she brought so much energy when she came out, plus I loved it when she made some shaky dance moves because it only showed how durable the costume is. My number five is Philippines, Ray Sham Saeed. I appreciate this costume very much because it came from one of the groups here in my country, although I have a feeling that there's a chance that this will, this will be ignored as well because of its simplicity. But for those who understand the Filipino tradition, culture, and costume, I am sure they are impressed as I am. I love the overall outfit, the headdress, the beautiful pattern on the fabric, which takes a lot of hard work to make, Plus, her execution with that guitar-like prop was also very, very beautiful. My number four is Indonesia, Jessica Fitriana. I was kind of expecting something else because I am positive that Indonesia won't go for a simple costume. When she pulled some strings and unbuttoned something, that's when I realized that some transformation is happening. The changes isn't much, it's, it just simply extended the outfit. I have to be honest, I liked it, but I wasn't really wowed by it. Although the head that headpiece, I am loving that very much. Plus, it gave a fiercer look to her ponytail. I also love the facial expression she is giving because it is very appropriate to the costume. My number three, Peru. Janik Maceta, of all the butterfly-themed national costume that I have seen in any international pageants, this is by far the most beautifully made costume. I love how the flapping of the wings work together with her hand gesture. I love the headpiece as well because it is like the eyes of a butterfly or any whatever insect it's trying to portray, but of course, butterfly for me. But what gave it some more classy and elegant look is the top and bottom outfit which was beautifully embedded by colorful gems and her shoulders highlighted with small butterflies well everything was a perfect combination my number two is Trinidad and Tobago Gia Loren Gomez what a huge costume and having a big costume doesn't mean it will win but for Trinidad and Tobago, I think it would be applicable. I love that they made sure that the fabric used are the same as the one she's wearing and the one on her back. I also love her different executions. But what really amazed me is how her costume appears to be very, very flexible with whatever movement that she tried to do. I mean... What kind? I mean, that's the question that really came into my mind. What kind of, I mean, materials did they use that it made, I mean, there's a, there's a support, of course, in different parts of that back part. But I just, I'm just amazed at how, at how flexible it is. So I really have to give kudos to the one who made the costume. I had so much fun watching her in that costume. It actually reminds me of Ecuador's costume in a way in Miss Grand International, which looks very fun and entertaining to see. And the best national costume, in my opinion, is 
it seems that the organization and I have the same opinion. And my best national costume also is Mexico. Dariana Orista. Dariana's outfit is just unbelievably amazing. I am not expecting so much execution from it because it looked heavy. So I understood why she has to move the way she did. But I love how the costume was made. And I know it looked heavy. But she still looked comfortable with it. Which is good. I love every details of the costume and I also love when she raised her arms and it reveals a sheer fabric in it with a beautiful pattern so that that, that was another great surprise. Overall it was a it was a very very beautiful costume. I think it surely deserves the best national costume award. So that's it. These are my top 15 favorite national costumes in Miss Supranational 2019. So what do you think? Don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.